my dear rebel signals if you are prepared to send enough money you will certainly find an oscilloscope which meets your requirement and during the inductory laboratory courses to oscilloscope is frequently used this one is the diagram which the signal generator is provided through the voltmeter which is converted into the oscilloscope and further a graph is obtained which is uh, some above the line and some below the line now the cathode oscilloscope uh, looks and play read instructions break into smaller parts decide on a simple measurements increase your level of difficulty record pathway and store directions this one is a diagram first of all you can see two pins are connected which is called base for the heater is connected which is in the cathode further is grid and for this are the focusing anodes and at the at above this pre accelerating anodes and this is also called electron gun further we have accelerating anodes horizontal deflection plate phosphorus screens and at the above there are beam and acquired coating and which is called vertical deflection plate you can clearly understand this picture which helps you a lot in your exam point of view because this is very important diagram Uh, further we have a comp uh, component and its parts uh, uh, functions filaments perform when a current passes through a filament the filament becomes hot and heats up the cathode then cathode emit electrons when it hots then the control grid control the number of electrons reaching the fluorescent screens and focusing a node focus the electron into the screen accelerating a node accelerate the electrons to the high speed y plates deflect the electron beam vertically and x plates deflect the electron beam horizontally okay these are all the functions of the cathode ray oscilloscope screen is a glass surface coated with the fluorescent material uh, further we have a part of cathode ray oscilloscope which is a function generator and its principle is that it build around a single 8038 waveform generator This circuit produces in square or a triangular waves from 20 Hz to the 200 kHz. This one is the diagram of the function uh, generator which frequency control is there then constant current supply to the integrator then the voltage comparator multi vibrator is introduced and then output amplifier. Uh, number 1 is introduced and uh, at the lower side constant current supply source 2 which produces output amplifier 2 this one is the block diagram of the function generator and the output is produced uh another part of the cro is the sawtooth wave or a saw wave it is a kind of a non sinusoidal wave form it is so named because on its resemblance to the teeth of a plane tooth saw with a zero rack angle and this one is its diagram which shows a graph of the sawtooth wave forms slow positive ramps then steep decay vertical rise slow negative ramp first one is the positive ramp and then negative ramp at the end you will see what are the applications of the cro and it is also uses of the cathode ray oscilloscopes which are uh, it is used in voltmeter display of the waveforms and it measures the short time intervals it measures the frequency display of the phase relationship and it also compares different frequencies so guys if you clearly understand the cro then go and like my video subscribe my channel and wait for other uh, important topics of the physics take care allah hafiz